Internet. We listen. We love. All right, welcome back to The Gong Show. Uh, we are excited about the fact that, of course, the world is ending. Um, <laughs> I have a ticket to ride on the J train. I plan to be with Jesus about this time tomorrow. So pretty excited about that. <laughs> been planning for quite some time. <laughs> Others, however, have been planning to really tough it out. Apparently, a uh, guy in China is putting $160,000 of his life savings into a massive ship. Are you serious? That is actually pretty smart. It is, because he wants to survive a worldwide flood. He oh my gosh. Oh, and that is never going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a house-sized ship. It's pretty substantial. It's 65 feet long. It weighs about 80 tons, and it's called the Haley. I thought it was the Bullock. Is that a fat joke? No, no. <laughs> I'm so offended right now. You are offended. Um, let's see if we can get some stuff over here. I did not call that you was fat. <laughs> let's look up here. <laughs> let's look up here. <laughs> okay, I I want to do this. I'm gonna oh, type in goodness, underground. I'm gonna type in <laughs> underground bunker because I'm sure that that's trendy. Underground bunker. Let's just take a looky here. Let's see. The, uh, What's the nicest one they got? Okay, this this look. Oh, this looks good. <laughs> this looks good. Let's do this one here. Underground. Oh, that's not yeah, right that's here. big. Yeah, does quite that see have it. six floors. It has a variety of floors. I don't know if we can get a close up of that, but uh, that's a large bunker. Okay, I'm gonna go back here to do what I'm doing. Like a bunk bed. A bunk bed. That's <laughs> another thing. Oh, here's a nice. <laughs> this actually has a map. That's okay. an awful picture. Now, how do you get in the thing? I guess you climb down the ladder. Is this a ladder here? Clint, give us a different picture. I don't like that one. You don't like that mm -mm. one? Does it offend you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. It's underneath a fairly large, spacious home. Okay, so let's uh, bring up the full-size image, Bob. I'm trying to. It's loading. There's too many ways it's to get It's such a large there. image, it's not gonna it's not gonna load. In fact, it's not okay, gonna do anything. Let's look at more pictures. <laughs> no. <laughs> Awkward. The Gong Show's never had an awkward Don't moment before like that. Hey, look wow, at that Wow, look at that. That's a beautiful one. Look at it. I, I don't see how the sun is shining on it. Yeah, you don't. But it's got, <laughs> look, look, at this is a, this is a bunker here. You, I, apparently you put underneath the earth somehow. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of my grandma's house. <laughs> um, oh, this one's nice. That's a now, water, guys, water on a serious note, I actually know that these exist. You know why I know this? Uh, Haley, this is the part we ask. How do you know? How do you know? Uh, because uh, the missile silos that were so famous in the 80s, they sold them to private owners, and people bought these and turned them into condominiums. I actually lived in one of those. I was going to mention that. It's That's not actually, that big, though. It's like yeah. little 4 by 4 and four by you, four is really small, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> four <laughs> well, by four. Uh, I, four by four. A few people know this about you, Haley, D. but uh, four by four. D. You have an arranged marriage, <laughs> and uh, you'll be ended up moving in with your husband into the underground bunker. Actually, Here's another nice shot. Nice shot. This is like so. Basically, I'm showing you these because guess what? There are more people investing in underground bunkers now than ever before, because they are worried that it is the end of the world. I can't. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I've actually thought about building an underground bunker myself. For but then I realized I didn't have the money <laughs> to do so. <laughs> so I'm not going to build one. But I do have a basement. You could build one. You don't need money. Pump. You just need a shovel. <laughs> I've got an Xbox. You but. need a little bit more than a shovel if you're going to build an underground bunker. Baby. You want to bet? I can do you one need right now. Ouch. Yeah, you need a couch and then then some cans, <laughs> canned food items. You guys both, I worry about you because if the world does end, you're gonna be in your backyard with a shovel and say, "Oh my goodness, where's those cans?" <laughs> <laughs> what else are we talking about? I don't know. Alex, what are you gonna do if the world ends? You're not gonna be here. Are you riding the J train too? Yeah. Nice job, my boy. I'll give it to you. Uh, by the way, when we refer to the J train, we're talking about the salvation found in Jesus Christ. It's written hmm. throughout the scriptures. The New Testament mostly orbits around the theme that the gospel, which is the good news, is that Jesus died on the cross for you and me. And if you place your faith in him, you too can know without a doubt in your mind that you are going to be with Jesus. Now, that's the truth. And the it's a great false, way to save money on The bunch. false is that we don't know the time or the hour. The Bible says we don't know the time or the hour when the world is going to end. So... Chances are December the 21st. Not even the great minds. Is going to come. 
it's gonna go. But it could. It God could come back. I mean, he'd he, he be like, "Hey, I don't know how you guessed it, but <laughs> here I am." We are having a really big bad snowstorm. Well, we heard the lava. <laughs> we did. Up on the roof. Lava and you know, snow. Now that I think about it, that could have been reindeer. Hmm. Uh, reindeer don't come now. They come Christmas Eve. Well, that well, could be maybe the time continuum shift with the lava. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Guys, stick around. Next break, George Moss joining us right here. Gong Show. Remy Live.